Hey guys, Bash here. I'm at the beach again today. And I'm here for the Red Tail Surf Perch. Same fishing pole, 96 medium light, three, uh, 10 pound main line, 3000 reel. And here is my one and a half ounce triangle weight. And with two hooks, I put uh, sand shrimp, sand worm today. And let's cast it out and see our luck today. And as you can see, the weave is quite strong um, at the beach at here. That's why I'm using the triangle weight so that the hook set can stay in the water for a little bit longer. So to cast it out, let the line tight and then reel in about like uh, three to six foot. Wait about like uh, 30 seconds. If no bite, just reel in another like six to ten, three to six foot and then wait. And if the fish bite, you are going to feel like bum 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 bum. You let them bite and wait for that strong bite to set the hook. Be strong. Oh, good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah. Oh. Wow, Ooh, that's a giant. Wow, man. Wow. Wow. Look at this beautiful fish. I think he's more than one pound and a half. Yeah, really good one. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's continue to cast and see whether we can get more. And I've been here for about maybe 20 minutes. Got a big one, really great size. So let's unhook it and uh, see whether we can get more. It's on this like uh, sandwar. I brought the shrimp, but I don't, don't have time to hook the shrimp on. Got a big one, good. Let's see whether we can get more. Hello, here is the, the second day. Today is Sunday. And uh, as my last video, today we are going to cook the fish I caught. Yeah, it's a quite good surf perch. Uh, yesterday I went there for a clam digging with my son, so I only get like less than an hour time for fishing. It's like such a short time, but I managed to get this one beautiful perch. And it's really tasty, this fish. Today we're going to cook it, and it's going to be quite simple. Um, yeah, let's start it. Okay, here, let's stem it. This is a tool I put in on the cooking top. And uh, that's the uh, cold water. So I think for steam fish, it's quite important to use the cold water to start. And this is ginger. We just put on top of the fish. And some inside of the fish. And now is the cooking wine. Put it on top of it. And then turn on the gas. Uh, we need to wait until the water is fully boil, boiling and then steam it for eight minutes. So, eight minutes has passed, this fish has been steamed, and we want to switch this fish to a new plate. Why? Because the water there will be a little bit fishy, and some people don't like the fishy smell. Um, so that's why we need to switch a new plate and continue our step. And now, let's continue. This is the soy sauce. Let's pour over the fish. We did not seasoning the fish, so the salt will all come from the soy sauce. Okay, that's enough. And then this is green onion. I cut it to a small slice. Pour it over. Fresh garlic.
and then we need a uh, hot oil to put on top of the fish. So here is the cooking oil, just a vegetable oil I got from Costco. Put uh, some over there and uh, let it cook um, and let it get really hot until you can see the um, blue gas come out from the cooking pot. So now you can see the oil is quite hot. Uh, as you can see, the smoke has already come out of it. Let's then pour the oil over the fish. Here is a fish we just cooked, guys. Um, red tail soap perch is supposed to be the one of the best eating fish in Washington state and everyone in my family like it and this is super simple to cook as long as it's fresh oh, smells really good I'm ready to eat my lunch now thank you guys for watching my video and your support if you like my video subscribe to it I will keep my best to do more videos. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Enjoy it. Bye bye.